up everyone. Right, so you join me here today, or should I say tonight, uh, episode 7 of Castelline. Today we'll come down to Willsley, um, which is down in Leicestershire, um, Ashby de la Juche. Um, got here around about half past five, six o'clock. Uh, we had a good look round, um, decided on peg eight. Matt, he's in peg 11, yeah, Matt Brindle's with me again, we couldn't get on Cromwell, uh, that was where we was going to go, um, so yeah, it's taken us quite a while to set up, as you see it's pitch black now, um, fishing three rods, I've got one out at 80 yards, um, um, basically put my float out, had a feel about, um, it's pretty much all uniform, feel a lot of sill, um, there ain't any really clear patches as such, but the reason I picked that spot, because it just dipped down a bit and it went into 11 foot, everywhere else seems to be around about 9 to 10 foot, so there must be some sort of bar there, uh, I've spotted out over that, uh, same spot mix as usual, pigeon conditioner, um, sweet corn, um, few little bits of goodies in there. Um, the left hand rod, put that out round about uh, 30 yards, just scattered boilies on that. Um, and on my right hand rod, I've put that out, um, you could say the margin, it's about three or four rod lengths out, and again just scattered boilies with that. I've got a snowman on the uh, right hand rod, pink on the top, Fishing the salmon and plum today, the new salmon and plum for bad boy baits. Um, 80 yards, that's got a uh, yellow salmon and plum pop on a hinge stiff rig. Um, on my left hand rod, that has got um, a salmon and plum pop, but it's not a fluoro, it's just to match the other boilers. So, yeah, all been well. Uh, if it doesn't happen tonight, Hopefully I'll have a fish in the morning. I'm not really expecting much, to be honest. We've made a lot of commotion, put a lot of spot mix in. But we have a line by there. So I am getting quite a few liners on that middle rod. So there's obviously something feeding on the spot mix, whether it be tench, green, carb, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'm going to cut it short and I'll update you in the morning. But it's nice to be back on the bank again. So yeah, happy fishing. Morning everyone. Right, so it's seven o'clock now. We've been up about half an hour, just watching the water. Um, nothing's happened in the night, apart from a lot of line bites. When I got up this morning, the bobbin was right up to the rod. So I think there's quite a lot of green in that spot at the minute. sure what to do now, we're going to put a bit of bait out, you know, you bait over the top of the bream, obviously you scare them off, and I'm whether to do that or just to sit out and see whether it can't move in, um, I think I might just sit out a bit longer, with it being like, you know, the time of morning where you'd expect to buy it. Not a bad night's sleep really, <laughs> considering. It gets really dark quick here because of all the trees and that around the around, around the, the pond. You like fishing in between gaps of trees really. It's a uh, gorgeous place to be at night. I like the steam that's coming off the water. Yeah, I do really like it. Matt was talking to the bailiff yesterday as well. He tells me that um, there's quite a lot of good 20s in here. Um, he's not too sure of the fish population, but uh, from his knowledge, he reckons there's about 400, you know, 20 pound pluses. Um, he said there's only a handful of 30s in here. Uh, the late record at the minute is 34 pound. 
They say sell does really well out here. But everybody says that. <laughs> so I've got confidence in the salmon and plum. It's a quality bait. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea, get myself sorted. Notes happen by about 11 o'clock. I'm going to put some more bait in anyway because I'm sure there's a breed there wiping, wiping the bait out. So keep that topped up. And Matt's still not up yet. So see what he's doing. He might move, he says. And there's a little out of bounds spots down in the uh, right hand corner. That he really Fancies. Um, but yeah, I quite like it here. I'm gonna stick it out here. I'll uh, show you around the pond and that in a bit. Um, you know, I'll show you the paints and where I'm placing it. There's no point showing you it if it's not successful. <laughs> well, I am really confident of a fish here. I reckon I reckon I reckon I'm gonna have one. If not this afternoon then tonight. Just depends where they are. It's quite a big water really, it's 24 acres. Okay, you soon. Hey up everyone. Right, so it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, since my last blog, I've had a bream on my middle rod. I put out another 20 spots over that spot. Um, brought the rig in, uh, some fresh baits on. Um, decided to fish a uh, snowman setup on that rod. Took the uh, 360 copy off. Um, a lot of people come on now. A lot of people both sides of me, people on the far side. Um, at least eight people's come this morning. So there's a lot of lines in the water. I don't know how the fish are going to react to that. Um, just had uh, uh, Jamie down from Bad Boy Bakes. He's the gaffer. <coughs> He's been still there talking to us. He fishes this water quite a lot. Yeah, I think it'll happen tonight. I really do, especially on that left hand rod. Had a lot of fish showing over there. Just a matter of time. At the minute, there's quite a few fish up in the water, which I'm quite surprised at. It's just not that warm. I reckon we've dropped at least eight degrees over this weekend. fish that are cruising about and that, they don't seem like they're feeding on anything, they're just, you know, lazing about. <coughs> but it's nice to see fish in the area. So I reckon they'll get their heads down tonight. I think they know the bait's there, which is why I'm hanging around. So yeah, I'll show you around the pegs in a minute. Right, so this is my swim. Basically, my left hand rod is just here, around about 40 yards out. There's been a lot of fish showing there. Got a snowman set up on a combi rig, uh, white on the top, uh, just a standard bottom bait on the bottom. And my middle rod is around about here, 80 yards out. Like I say, I found the old riverbed out there. Um, it's quite silty, drops off into 11 foot, got 9 foot either side. And on me, uh, left hand rod, it's just round about here, round about 20 yards out. Um, 
on that I've got a hinge stiff rig with a pop up on to match the bottom baits. I've got about 30 baits around that, not very much. Um, my middle rod is the one that's had all the spod. Uh, all in all, it's had about 32 spots since I've been here. 12 last night, 20 at about 11 o'clock. And then on this one, this the left hand rod that's had about a kilo now. Uh, but that'll be getting another half a kilo, and uh, I'll be topping up the spot on my middle rod later. So, yeah, it's a gorgeous looking water, as you can see. update you soon. Well, it's uh, about pack up time now. Um, didn't do any good at all. I think the drop in the temperature really like paid its toll on the fishing um, and obviously the high pressure with the amount of people that was coming. Um, I've tried all sorts today. I mean, tried a few zigs. Um, even tried on the surface I just don't want to know not interested um, so yeah another blank <laughs> getting good at blanking <laughs> um, Matt's the same he's tried zigs as well today dog biscuits on the surface still nothing so unfortunately it looks like we're going to be defeated um, gonna have a slow pack up, um, but we'll be back again. We've got a social on here at the end of October, so that'll be good. Um, not quite sure when I'm going next. Uh, I am uh, at Wellham Lakes at the beginning of October for a social on there as well. Um, quite a small social that though. I think there's only about ten of us going. So until then. I'll uh, keep the YouTube blogs going and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy fishing.